Now the last thing we have to do here is in the chart run is to kind of connect the firm situation with the market situation. So um, let's do an example here of what we are talking about. So let's say that I um, that I knew that at the mm -hmm. um, at the market level the demand in this market was 500 minus 2Q, right? So it will be um, uh, this one here. And I know that uh, at, the, at the current situation, there's about 20 firms, or there are 20 firms working in this market. So uh, what I'm trying to find out is, if that is the situation, what is the amount of output at the market level that, that you have? And furthermore, what is the price that this many firms will actually have? Uh, well, in, in, you know, in order to find that out, the first thing you need to find out is how much output you will produce at the firm level. You know that the firm to the size are produced at the perfectly competitive firms where marginal cost equals price. So probably the first thing you need to do is to find the marginal cost for this equation, and that's going to be the derivative for the total cost equation. So you will have 5 plus 2q. Now the problem here is that if you make this equal to price and you're trying to find out small q, right? So let's say we put mc, which is 5 plus 2q, and we make that equal to price, which is this uh, red square here, you run into a problem. And that is that the demand curve is given to you in terms of the quantity, uh, uh, the market quantity, and you just found out the uh, up you have the marginal cost in terms of the firm quantity. So how do you go from the firm marginal cost curve, supply curve, to the market supply curve? Well, you can do that by using the number of firms you have, right? So you know that you have 20 firms. So essentially what you have to do is to, mathematically what you want is to take this Q and make this marginal cost function in terms of big Q, so you can actually uh, put uh, MC equal to P to find the, the big Q. Uh, or another way of putting this is to, is to find another equation since you have two unknowns here, Q and uh, three unknowns, Q, small Q, big Q, and P, and you only have um, uh, two equations here. And the other equations come from the firms. <clears throat> so uh, the number of firms is going to be equal to uh, the amount of the market produces divided by how many firms you have. I mean, divided by how many uh, how much output each firm produces. So since F, I know, is 20, uh, I can substitute in this equation for Q, for small Q, um, and I end up with Q, small Q, equals to 1 over 20, big Q. So now I can take this, so now I have another equation, right? So now I can take this Q and, and plug it into here to find out the marginal cost in terms of big Q. So marginal cost is going to be equal to 5 plus uh, 2, 1 over 20, big Q. So marginal cost is going to be equal to 5 plus 0 0.1 Q. And now I can put the marginal cost equal to price, which is what I uh, have here. But now I'm doing it at the market level, essentially, right? So. So 5 plus 0 0.1Q equals 500 minus 2 BQ. And now I have BQ in both sides, so I can actually solve for uh, BQ. So this is 2.1Q equals to 495, right? Which is going to be equal to uh, 200. And 36. That's about it. All right. 495. So at the market level, this uh, each firm, it, it, when all the firms are added up, when the output of all the firm are, is added up, uh, the whole market produces 236. And I can find out what each firm produces by taking this um, using the, the equation I have here. So this would be uh, 1 over 20 times 236, right? So um, that's going to be equal to about 12. So what I just found out is that when, when each firm has this cost function, each firm will produce, and, and the demand is like this, 
and there are 20 firms in the market. Each firm will produce a quantity of 12. Uh, there will be 20 firms in the market, so the total market will be about um, 236. Um, and then I can also try to find out if, um, how many firms, uh, if the firms are making profits by simply um, subtracting the average total, uh, average total cost from the price. But, um, but that's, um, that's a different story. What we're trying to find out here is to go from, from an individual firm to the, to the market, to the market uh, supply.